There it is, Urban Recon Carnage, a legendary. Oh my. And it is Team Overdose with Gerald Toad, Psy, and Spy. And they are up against Reekfish, Team Reekfish, who we're looking at here with Walter White, MP Mint Chip, and Father Xmas. Team Reekfish with that extra player. Gonna be so important here. Those uh, helicopters being handed out quickly, MP Mint getting one, Walter White with another, and Reekfish holding one. And let's see who is taking them. Looks like Spy. This is for Team Overdose. Psy, and I would imagine... Oh, and Spy, okay, possibly with two there. Or no, Spy with one, Overdose with one. And they are moving, as you can see, to the flanks. This is Psy with Overdose. And we are going to see here Spy running into Empiment any second here. Walter White as well, they should just, they should converge on Spy. Does not seem to be where the Empyman is flanking around behind him. Well, the way taking those opportunistic shots, but he's letting Spy go. Unbelievable. This is going to do it for some Spy's infantry, but not for his uh, helicopter's chopper. Here, I'm just waiting for him to take these shots. I mean, he, I'm sure he would like to waste some of Reed Fisher's infantry there. Spy seems to be oblivious to what's going on here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, they're finally... Takes the shot. He does take out that uh, MP Mint chopper, I believe. As we're seeing a big engagement here, crazy tank battle. Father Xmas against Jarl Toad with these helos in play. Psy, Father Xmas holding one of those as well. Ooh, he misses. Should be able to machine gun. Can he get him with the machine gun? Almost here. Does take out Psy's chop. Father Xmas badly wounded there, though. There is a mad rush going for this hill, but these guys are not going to be able to take it. That uh, is Reekfish with an insane hill rush. As Father Xmas is taken out there by Jarl Toad, who can still heal up. That was a, so that was a big win on the beach side there, Psy and Jarl. They are up points, up 13%. Oh, Father Xmas getting destroyed by Jarl. It's not looking good for Team Reekfish. Overdose bringing in that chopper to support. They should be ready for the offense here. For the final offense, there's not a lot on this flag. I think Jarral is, is the man to make this happen. Holy smokes. Reekfish is oblivious trying to do that offense. Has no idea and was just destroyed by Overdose. Overdose is wiping out Reekfish. And we have got the waves. Although it looks like they did get... <clears throat> Jarl's tank there. Reekfish did get the Jarl tank and might get the chopper. Overdose is taken out. It's going to slow things down a little bit, although Overdose did scorch that turret. So important to get that turret as Walter White comes in to support those cannons. Still like beautiful cannon shot there from MP Mint. Great stuff. Destroying some more of Jarl's units, I believe. So a successful uh, defensive action there, although you can see the percentages are not looking too good for Team Reekfish. This is Psy having to spread out quite a bit as Reekfish goes on the attack. There is a Rocketeer back here, though, trying to get that Reekfish tank. As you can see, there's a bit of some counteroffensive here, and this is Spy still on the move with that helicopter. So, uh, still holding that for the advantage. as he goes in with the Rocketeer, but it's going to get smoked by Reekfish. And Walter White on the move with that tank as well. But there's a lot of defense. There we go, those <laughs> Merc attacks out from Psy. Whoa! Seemed to have sort of Merc and Merc and Merc attack himself. As Spy is trying to get that tank. He wants that Walter White tank. Overdose needs to wake up on the defense here. That turret is still in play. Yeah, I don't think Walter White was aware of what was going on there. He walked right into that one. And that turret is going to just annihilate them. That is Reefish getting destroyed, plus Spy with that chopper. And uh, yeah, suddenly it, it's just, I mean, it was not looking good for Team Reefish as it was, but now it's looking uh, dis decisively bad for them. Uh, the defense here is so solid. Overdose with two tanks, Jarral with that turret, and Spy with that chopper. Should be no way Team Reefish can get in there. As you can see them still, this was uh, the offense though. So the question is going to be, 
Can Team Reekfish hold this D down with what little they have left? This will be interesting to see happen. They've got those cannons. Empyman, who's doing great with those cannons, and Father Xmas, who got a spare from that cannon as well. And uh, Empyman with a tank there. Why do we have guys in the backfield? Asked Jarl. Yes, I think he's concerned here about overdose with those AFK units, but this is fine because they. this was a big win. I don't think Jarl really realizes what a big win happened for the defense here. Uh, as long as they have that, especially as long as they have that turret in action, not to mention Spy with the chopper. So they should be able to just take their sweet time and de develop this scorching, I think, a cannon there. Now we're down to sort of individual tank and infantry action. This is going to be 100% defense from Team Reekfish. But they are acting like they're on the O. Oh, MP Mitch is going for this one. Another cannon here. Walter White going to be in trouble from Overdose. Overdose has a chance to ram here. Which you can do by uh, double clicking T at close range, I believe. He's gonna get that cannon though, or at least try to. And just walk right around those infantry there. He does machine gun them. Walter White's infantry there. And this is Spy going in on the side, as we can see. He's also playing here, so he's got one man. Oh, he's not gonna make it though. This is Empty Man with that defense. Spy's gonna walk right into this. AFK defense there. Other oh, we go. Waking up takes out Spy's infantryman. But Spy is in position with that helicopter to put away this defense, especially if Overdose catches up with that tank. Oh, great stuff. The tank is destroyed, I think, from a cannon shot, possibly from Reekfish there. Fantastic work with the cannon. Uh, but now Spy is going to, you know, put this to rest, I think. He could win this just by walking on this flag. I don't know if he's aware of that. Well, he's got two Rocketeers here from Empty Men. He's, he's concerned about that. There go those Rockets. And he hasn't taken a lot of hits, though. He wants to get this cannon. Ah, he's focusing on those Rocketeers, which is smart. Those are probably his biggest risk. Ah, uh, Reekfish going with the Murchie attacks. Could have been effective there, but then is destroyed. And I think this is going to do it uh, for the offense. Unbelievable. So Team Reekfish managed to push them off with 31% versus 9%. Spy is going to clear out of there and go heal. As I can see, a deep flank happening here for Team Overdose. Very deep with uh, Overdose with two Rocketeers. Now, this could be game winning. There's n pretty much nothing left on this flag now. Just that, you know, those few mercs. As you're seeing, the last offense from MP Man. Oh, but he gets the Spy Chop with a, with a tank shot. Great stuff from MP Man. Fantastic attack against that Hilo. Spy's not going to be happy about that one. That was brilliant. Uh, giving him, still give, keeping his team with a fighting chance, but Overdose really is in position to win this. Let's see here if Spy can get revenge and take out that Empy Mint tank. In the last seconds of this game, Empy is running. And we're going to see those rockets coming in here. Yep, Overdose is ready to put this one away. All he's got to do is rush this. Father Xmas doing what he can with the D as the rockets come in. And that's going to do it. Overdose is going to tag that out. So Team Overdose decisively uh, in the lead there. Uh, they were doing they had better work with their choppers for sure. I think more experience there. Uh, eight, Overdose early on scorching that turret was a really important move. That gave them a big advantage for the rest of the game. And Team uh, Reekfish's inability to get the cannon opposite uh, was decisive in that... Uh, that was just a, you know, a turret, excuse me, is just able to destroy any infantry that gets near it. And um, on the other hand, though, you saw some interesting little some tank battles. Look how far up Psy has come with those cannons, uh, you know, ready to, uh, with a battery of cannons here, to ready to do the work if there was anything left on that flag. We also saw uh, MP Mint with uh, holding his tank before it was destroyed. This is Jaral closing in as well here, but uh, great stuff from MP with that Fantastic tank shot attack against Spy, taking out Spy's helicopter, which is brilliant. Uh, we did see, however, Spy kind of was like seemingly not paying attention here because early on in the game, he had his infantry getting attacked by, uh, I believe it was an empty mint helicopter, but uh, then, or Walter White, but then um, they walked kind of right past each other and had a weird duel there. But this is what happens, of course, when you have uh, so few players, four players on a legendary game of Urban Recon. I usually like to run this one on a heroic or, or normal or, or, or what have you, uh, just to, you know, reduce the amount of um, um, uh, clumping and, uh, you know, mass clicking that you're doing. 
uh, and you know try to improve your awareness a little bit, especially because of course the game this game you play with the map is off, so it's so hard to tell if you're you know if you're actually being attacked unless you start taking losses. So it always makes it difficult when you have so few players, of course. But actually, a fairly uh, a respectable game from both teams and a close one in the end. But uh, a few key attacks from Team Overdose was able to give them the edge against the Team Reekfish.